Guys, this is my second video now um, showing uh, my Worcester Bosch boiler. Um, I've had it repaired. It's been a few months now. I didn't want to make a video straight away because I just wanted to see and prove it was working fully and there were no problems. For those of you who haven't seen my first video, this is for is my uh, tag. It's an RI, uh, sorry, 24RI model and it's one of the green star. So the symptoms I was having was this blue light was flashing. I wasn't getting a firing light here and I was getting no heating, no hot water. And on the second fault, on the second failure, I was getting a sound of um, gushing water inside the boiler. Got a little bit worried. Again, called up British Gas. Same sort of problem. 48 hours, earliest call out. So I called my local plumber and sent him the symptoms. He was around the same day. So um, lots of credit to my local plumber. And he came round, took the boiler apart. So there are, there's a fixing screw that's missing there. There's another screw, as you can see, in that plastic sleeve just there on the right hand side, not the for the one further away, this one here. And there was, I think, one or two screws at the top and the whole cover came off. Um, now, on the phone, he did have an idea of what it was going to be and he was hoping it wasn't going to be the heat exchange system which is a big tank on this side at the behind this cover um now what happens is this is a condenser boiler so all the condense all the, all the condensation is stored in a little condenser box at the back when you take this cover off there's a little plastic uh box behind here and this is the the pipe that the water comes out from and then out the wall and then into the drain and that was blocked up with a lot of lime scale. Um, when the plumber came round, he's taken this all apart, taken the box out, obviously switched everything off beforehand. Um, and he's literally just cleaned it out. He didn't have a spare one with him, but he ideally would have replaced that. Now, they're not very expensive. I've seen them on the internet, I've seen them on eBay going for about 15, 20 pounds. It's just a yellow box with an inlet and an outlet. And I think it's got some sort of a, a, a straining, a strainer on one end, so it doesn't allow too much debris to get in there or get out of there. So one way or the other, it was getting blocked and that's fixed it. So it's been four months, I would say, since that happened and I've had no problems at all. So since the last breakdown to this breakdown, it was about a month, month and a half and it happened again. So first symptoms were... I was getting a flashing blue light, no green firing light, and no heating or hot water. Um, first fix was turn this all the way around to reset, held it there for a few seconds. You'll see the boiler re reboot, put it back to your position, and it seemed to have worked. Obviously, there was an underlying fault, which was this condenser box was filled up with loads of lime scale and sludge. Um, now, I have got a British gas call-out plan, or I did have, which has now been cancelled down um, due to, um, I guess, my disgust with them. So this boiler was being serviced by British gas annually, and obviously I'm not an engineer, so I don't know what they're supposed to be doing. But when my plumber came round, he showed me what this condenser box looked like and the condition of it, and said to me this looks like it's never been cleaned out and should be part of your British gas service on this boiler so unfortunately just like uh, most people out there they're coming around doing a service don't know what they're doing assuming that they're looking after my boiler but clearly they're not doing everything that they're supposed to be doing and it's cost me an additional 120 pounds which I was pretty happy to pay because I've got young kids and I needed my heating, needed the hot water. And since then, it has been perfect. Now, there was a fear that I would need to change out my boiler when I spoke to my, uh, my plumber. But luckily, he could do a quick fix on this. So we're up and running. Um, hopefully, this helps you guys. It might not help everyone. Um, Call out a local plumber. Um, I'm not very technical. I would get a screwdriver out and try and tinker around, but not knowing what I knew before, uh, or not knowing what I know now before, I 
probably wouldn't have touched it. And if it happens again, I would probably be a lot more confident doing that now. So take the four screws off, take the cover off, um, make sure the power's off, um, no lights on, no controllers on, and uh, give it a go. The box, from what I recall, was held on by this plastic nut down here. So on the other end of that, past this cover, you'll see the yellow box. And then inside, there's another pipe going into it. I can't remember if it was horizontal or vertical. And that pipe, again, has another plastic nut, which will unscrew. Um, you will get a little bit of discharge of water because it's a condenser outlet. Um, there won't be, obviously, the main water, so you don't have to worry about turning off the main water because it's not your heating system water. It's just the condensation coming off the boiler. Um, but it does need to discharge that. And if that gets blocked, it comes up with a fault. Um, and this is the fault that I was having. The fear was, like I said at the beginning, the biggest fear was that the um, heat exchanger was blocked up. And it still could be, but it's not at the point where it's uh, detrimental to the boiler yet. So um, fingers crossed it will last me until we get this swapped out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helps. And um, please like the video. And I will try and put some more up. Not necessarily about the boiler, but if there's anything in particular that you guys want me to do videos about, um, I'm going to start doing more videos. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.